Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you find the videos useful and you're helpful in your designing process. If you do, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button, tap on that notification bell for further content, leave me a like, and please, please take five seconds and drop a comment down below. It'll help my algorithm out with YouTube. <laughs> I really need the help. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, today, what we're going to do is, uh, is kind of showcase uh, off a little bit of one of the Rhino uh, 8, uh, the new version, and I'm in uh, uh, 3.8, so 3.7 uh, or 3.5 and earlier uh, probably won't be able to use this, but if you're in 3.8, uh, this is just another way to design something, so uh, uh, just going to show it off a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to make just a band, uh, except we're just not going to do it with the profile this time. We're going to kind of just surface model it a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is go in here to our tools and uh, we'll grab a ring rail and we'll take that and we'll go and grab a profile. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and change. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, I'm just going to take the normal one here and then just go ahead and accept that. And it's a two by four. You can change that up. Maybe you want to take it to a 2.5. Uh, so we'll we'll take it up to 2.5 so it's a nice thick band going around and we'll auto sweep it and then we'll just right click to accept that and we'll give it some shading okay now this command uh, is uh, convert to single spans and what it will do is it will convert the single spans uh, command uh, it splits the nerve surface to knots uh, to create untrimmed span surfaces. Uh, so basically what we're going to do, is we cannot do it with this because if we click on it and we type in what, uh, it is a poly surface, right? It's um, many different surfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, nuke this puppy. Uh, and then we have it in a one section here, one section there, and one section over on this side as well, right? <clears throat> so we have it in three different sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the top section and we are going to type in that command down in our command line here. Down here, uh, convert, convert. Uh, uh, CO invert to single span, uh, single spans, right? And then we're just going to go hit enter. Now it'll ask us if we want to delete our input, and we do. Uh, and it'll ask us our direction. Right now I have it set in the V direction, but you can switch it to the uh, U direction, which will single span these, or we can convert it to. Uh, uh, both right so it'll be on both which we don't want both we just want to go ahead and do the uh, U I believe yeah no nope, no nope, sorry the V we want to do the vertical all right spans it's not going to do anything to these two sides on the end as you can see it's just going to do the one in the center and we'll get to those others in a little bit okay so we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit uh, enter to accept that and now what it's done is it converted all those little surfaces into individual spans right single spans so they're all individual nerve surfaces now it's split them at the knots so, uh, you know, all those knots that we have, it's hard to see in here. Maybe we go to wireframe, you can kind of see it better. Yeah, well, the knots, all the knots. So uh, when we select those items, well, that's that one surface there. But you can see it's uh, selecting those uh, individual surfaces, right? Now, you know, say we want to design a little band. And now you could do this with your profile, but you have to go to the profile editor and manipulate it all. But this is just another way, like I said. Uh, so we're going to take this surface here, this little thin surface here. And we're going to go over here to this little surface here. And we're going to uh, go to our front view. And we are going to drag this in a little bit, something like this, right? And now you can see uh, when we go in here, it offset those surfaces down inside, right? Maybe we don't want it so deep there. I took it a little too far. Uh, so let's go in here. I want to hold down shift, grab here, just kind of take it in just a little, something like that perhaps. Uh, just a little bit, just to give it a little band look, right? Now, like I said, you could do this, but you'll have to go into your profile editor, edit it all, and all that kind of stuff. So, But it's, you know, it's just a different way. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go to our surface, and then with our uh, old uh, loft command, right? 
we can just go in here and select uh, this surface here or that edge and that edge here there and hit enter enter and we'll do normal uh, do not simplify okay and we'll just go ahead and hit okay uh, and then we'll just come over to the other side and right click bring back that command there and there right click right click and right click one more time oh okay I have to hit okay uh, so it closes off those surfaces right uh, we'll right click again here here right click right click and okay my my mouse is kind of acting up today uh, so we'll right click we'll hit here and here and then right click uh, and then we'll hit OK. So now we have all that, right? <clears throat> now what we can do is we can go to our fillet uh, right here, right? Uh, fillet, fillet surface. And we have it at a point too. That's probably fine. So we'll select this surface here, that surface there. And we want, this is the new box here. You want to make sure trimmed is on and uh, just go ahead and accept it, right? Uh, and then it kind of rounds that off a little bit. We'll right click and we'll select this surface here and this one here and we'll hit OK and broke history. That's OK. Right click. We'll go here and here and then OK uh, and click OK there and we'll right click and select this surface and then this surface and then OK. Oh failed to split this uh, failed so let's right click again here and here and hit okay it's not going to fillet that why is that going to act up okay so let's get rid of this surface here let's just do another loft here just to appease the program appease the matrix uh gods there and we'll do a, a fillet and we'll select this surface and this surface and there we go yeah it just was kind of wanting to have some special attention there <laughs> okay now what we're going to do is we're going to select this surface this surf not that one uh this surface oh this surface here that surface we're going to change it to this color here and then we'll come over here uh, and select that one this one and this one over here not that one this one take delete that one or not delete it but uh, deselect it and then we'll change that to there so we have that there right so now as you can see if we go to our uh, rendering uh, we can have a, a two-tone or we can texture it or uh, uh, plate it or whatever but we're going to do a little bit more so let's keep on going I'll switch to here now. Now, like I said, we didn't do these down here, right? So what we're going to do is select this surface, go down here, right click on that and go to convert to splines and then keep it in our same direction there, uh, V direction, I believe it was. And then we're going to sit that one, right click and then, uh, yeah, our V direction and then right click, right? Now, all those are in individual spans, right? So what we're going to do here, just to do a little bit of something different, is we're going to select this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to keep that little edge there. And we're going to go back to our uh, front view. Uh, let's get out of that viewport. And we're going to drag this up and inside here. Something, I don't know, something like that there, right? Okay. And then we'll come in here and we'll go back to that old parametric or old loft, non-parametric, the old one right and now we can do a loft from this edge here to this edge right click uh, and hit ok so it should close that off right there and then we'll come over here to this side right click to bring back that command hit that edge and this edge here right click and right click and ok right so we have that right now i'm going to go ahead and just take uh, all green well let's see uh we got these in uh, multiple surfaces, right? Uh, we could probably, uh, you can do it either way. If you want to, if you want to use smart uh, pattern, uh, you'll have to uh, get rid of those surfaces and then do one surface, or you can sit there and merge them. And actually, let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go to uh, surface. Uh, and go down to our edit tools and since they're uh, single span surfaces or nerve surfaces, right? We can go and we can select that. Ooh, whoa, something happened there. Oh, I must have selected something wrong. So let's go right click uh, this surface right here and this surface. 
Wow, something's going on there. Uh, let's back out of that. Huh. Okay, well, let's just do it this way then. <laughs> let's select that one, uh, delete, that one, delete, del okay, uh, delete, de delete, and delete. And now we have it all open, right? Now what we'll do is we'll just go to this loft here, and we'll select that top edge where we made the cut in right and we'll select that side and we'll select this side over here and right click and right click and it'll give us that one surface right now we can go to uh transform go to smart pattern and we'll just pick something really kind of simple here uh let's see what do we want uh let's do let's do this little thing here and we'll just go ahead and uh click on that and two and eight we'll check that out we'll go ahead select and wait for that to uh, lo there it is load it up and we'll just deselect that okay so it's going in the wrong area so what we want to do is we want to take this one and go to one and hit enter so there's that and then we want to take this one and go to eight and hit enter so it gives us our little uh, cutout on the inside there, right? So it kind of looks like a liner, but it's not really a liner because we have a solid surface there. But it is, you know, it just lightens it up a little bit. Uh, and there you go. Uh, and actually, you can just keep on doing crazy things with it. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take... Well, let's accept that. Let's go ahead and take this surface and this surface. Yeah. Uh, and we'll come over here and take this surface and this surface, and we'll go to our side view. Uh, and we'll kind of uh, hold down... Well, we don't need to hold down shift on this. We just want to bump it in a little bit. Uh, and then we can do something like that, right? And then we can go back to that uh, surface command again. Uh, and do another loft, close up these areas, right? So we can do a loft from this edge here to this edge and right click and right click and we'll hit OK. And then we'll do it the same thing to the bottom here. Right click here on this edge to that edge, right click, right click, OK. And then we'll come over here to this side, uh, right click, uh, right click, or left, you yeah. know, left click left click sorry uh and then go ahead and take that and then right click to bring back the command select this edge here and then that edge right there and take that and we'll accept that and now we can put a we can this one in this one right so we'll just go ahead and take this one and this one and we'll well let's do it from the front it's probably uh better so let's go here let's go this one right hold down shift select both those we'll join those together right and then we'll just go and we'll go to our curve and we'll grab extract an iso curve from this surface uh and it should be out there there it is uh so we'll go and we'll drag it to our 50 there or somewhere in the center there uh zero zero hit enter now we'll take this little curve here and we'll go to our solids and go to uh this and we have this one at our zero and this one at our two five so we'll come over here to our two five and we'll just type in one and hit enter and it takes them all the way around right uh and we can change that to something else if you want to uh i don't know let's see uh what do we got here uh, we'll do something like this here and we'll just go ahead and take that and double click on it right and then we'll take that and we'll come up our target surface will be this here and we can uh well we can go ahead and hold down shift and rotate these 90 right do something like this well 90 90 uh and then we can kind of maybe uh and I'll close up that gap a little bit. Make them something like that. And then our size, we'll go ahead and bump them a little bit bigger. 
something like that, right? So we have something like that there, and we'll take that, and then we can sit there and uh, see if these surfaces are still, yep, okay. So what we can do is we can go back to that uh, fillet, or fillet, I don't know why I keep saying fillet, uh, fillet, and we'll take it here. This time we'll take it to a point one and hit enter, and we'll take this surface here and this surface, and we'll get okay. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll go ahead, right click. Oh, sorry, select that. And then this surface here and this surface. And we'll hit OK. And then we'll just take all this and we will go to transform, uh, mirror uh, in our X direction, not our Y. So it'll put them over on the other side here. We'll take that. And then we'll go back to our, we'll right click here and go to that fillet. And we'll select that one and this one. And we'll accept that. And then we'll come up here, right click this one and this one. And we'll accept that as well. Now we can take this surface here, this surface here, and this one surface over here. And we can change those to this layer here, right? And now when we turn it on, we can see that we have a two-tone type look going on. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so there's a lot of uh, interesting things that we can do in here. Uh, you can even probably take this, uh, let's back out of that, sorry. Let's go here. I did something I probably shouldn't have done. And it's still there. So we can take this here and change that to this here. So that'll be a different color. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of different setups you could do here, but it's just kind of a quick way to, uh, and different way, right? So we can go in, uh, let's change it back to our, go to our render here. And we'll just go ahead, well, this will just go ahead and turn back to uh, green here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do a little render. First, I'm going to go to my nothings in there, so that's cool. Uh, go and grab my green. We'll change this to uh, white, and we'll go ahead and hit apply. And we'll grab all this other stuff. Uh, and we'll close out metals here and we'll come down here to black matte and we'll go ahead and hit enter and we'll just take a look at it in ray traced here real quick and we got something like this going on and we'll hide this ring rail and hide our uh, item there so uh, there you go something kind of a little different uh, just real quick to lay it out and then you know uh, to design it itself what you'll have to do is uh, go ahead and boolean everything together and join everything together uh, and then after it's cast of course you'll go in there and put in the antiquing or whatever uh, but uh, something a little different you could even probably go in here and uh, this one here you could go ahead and change it to this color here and then add the matte black to that as well which will offer something even a little different so there you go so hopefully that kind of uh explains the new convert to single spans uh, just some stuff that you might be able to do with it but that's uh pretty interesting look i think uh, 